The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. So we decided to go visit Alma during her challenging time. Your message mm -hmm. and the, the feedback, this is going to be overwhelming. We are headed to Orlando for the special event 2016. As long as you know that you're doing something like this, you're pretty well balanced. Yeah. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. Over the last four years, we've built a lot of different relationships in Belize while we've been traveling the entire country, speaking to and motivating the youth of the country. And right now, we're going back for some corporate events. How are you, sugar plant? Good, darling, good. Oh, beautiful oh, hair sweet. We do a lot of work out here in Belize. The, the last four years, actually, we have teamed up with Chamberlain Consulting and we have spoken to over 50,000 of their youth around the country. We're doing an interview on Channel 5 in Belize for the upcoming event. There is no fire and there is no glass. <laughs> <laughs> At Chamberlain Consulting, there is the famous world-renowned Dr. Dion Chamberlain. We're getting prepared to hear the great Bert Oliva speak on Body Talk tomorrow. He's going to teach us how to get in touch with our feelings and learn who we are and how do we actually communicate with others to gain effectiveness out of our, our communication. So we're excited about that. We're Belize. Belize City. Some people don't know where Belize is. It's paradise on Earth. <laughs> well, one thing I've learned from Dion is that people come to Belize for two reasons. For the rum and the women. <laughs> Why are you here, Mr. Oliva? <laughs> Not for that. I'm here for a seminar. Very small country located in Central America. It's north of Guatemala and south of Mexico. So Mexico is about a two to, yeah, I'd say about a two hour drive from um, Belize City. The roads in Belize, I am happy to report, have been improving over the last couple of months that we haven't been here. So that is awesome. Having some fun, gonna go visit some Mayan ruins later. Altunha is a Belizean ruin and it's located about 30 miles north of Belize City. It's about five square miles wide and wasn't even discovered until 1963. I've been to a whole bunch of ruins throughout my life and I can't get enough of them. I think they're too cool. Look at this one back here. And this one over here, they used to do uh, sacrifices there so that you would go from the ninth level to the 13th level. Look at Bert down there. We are in Altoon Ha, uh, Mayan ruins, and just spending the afternoon here, enjoying the gods. Catching my breath. Big woman ain't made for these things, boy. Oh. Well, down is pretty scary from here. One of the things that we teach is the importance of balance, and that's balancing every single aspect of your life, professional, personal, and even spiritual. And so one of the things that we always like to do before an event is really take some time to center ourselves. And that's why visiting a spiritual place like these ruins was a great thing to do right before an event. You too can make it happen by joining the motivational missionaries on our next tour. Never know where we're gonna end up or who we're gonna end up with or what country we're gonna end up in, but we're going somewhere. <laughs> Go to www.mmtour.org and find out how you could sign up your school or your country for a tour stop for the motivational missionaries. What did you just give him? Sugar cane. You that gave cure him his stomach right away. Yeah? Yeah, but the calcium is good for me. What is good for me is good for him. And who are you? Um, I am the doctor. Love Bush doctor. doctor. <laughs> Don't say voodoo. I'll see you. For companies, it's about the bottom line. In order to get to the bottom line, you need good leadership in your company. But good leadership doesn't just happen. You need to train your employees. So we went to Belize to go train a gas company over there that hired us on better skills to improving their leadership. You do better than that, yes or no? In our leadership programs, we also have lots of demonstrations and activities to kind of show you because some people don't just listen to what you're trying to teach them. They need something that really demonstrates to them and that they can really grasp a hold of what it is that we're trying to teach them at the moment. You hear that? Mm. <laughs> That's pressure. That's life. 
We all have the same thing that come into our life. When they tell you you're crazy, what do you do? Man! Man! Oh, you've inspirational, inspirational. It exceeded our expectations. And this is so positive today. I say, let's make it happen. Yay! While we were in Belize, we also had a group of people that wanted to learn body language. So we did our body talk program. Not only do we just teach the neuro-linguistic programming in our body language, but we also teach them on awareness skills. You probably have your best friend and you just don't know yet. <laughs> and also how to connect the energies that it takes when you're meeting somebody and that improves. I mean, body language improves communication. You've changed since you walked in here, you know that. <laughs> Some of you had a connection, like over here, for no reason, you're like, you guys celebrated that little moment at the end. Do you guys know each other? I got some tools, I got some extra information as well. It's something that I always wanted to do and I know that I can continue on and using the tools that I have learned today. As usual, Belize, you have my heart. It's so beautiful over there. We took a couple of moments to, you know, really connect with our friends over there and get some more uh, Mayan ruins under our belt, which is always nice. And I can't wait to see the next time that I get to enjoy Belize. What did we learn today? One of the things that's really important is that companies that are doing really well in this society right now, and the way the economy is, is because they keep training. They keep looking on how it is they can make their team better. We just love working with companies like that because not only do we help them increase their bottom line and their morale, but also get them in the right frame of mind so they can keep making it happen. So I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Keep making it happen and I'll see you next week. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to The Family Show. And what I... Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're gonna do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now.